and the journey that we were on, that we've been on for the last almost two years has been very intimate. And in, in, in I have to say in many ways, beautiful because we've, um, we've, we've addressed it together. You know, it's been the two of us um, in rehab, in, 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 the, in the feeling of what's possible. I mean, and to, to be in the feeling of what's possible and, and then have, like Julian said, that change. It's like his daughter, who I'm not sure exactly what he said, is like, isn't expected to speak, is speaking. I mean, there's, I think when people put their minds to possibility, when people look, in that direction and feel hopeful about possibilities. I think there's a magic in that. I think that pushes the envelope of what's possible and, and, and makes changes that the medical field would say, no, that can't happen. You know, that's, you're asking for too much there. But I honestly feel like I don't know the intention or the the understanding of the human spirit to evolve and to to I don't know how to say it, but because you know we we are we are ultimately spirit and then manifestation in a physical form, right? We're spirit in the manifestation of physical form. Why can't that spirit with the, with the intention of thought change things in the outside world, which is the physical? It just makes sense to me. Yeah. Like I, I love it. As you were saying that, I was thinking about <clears throat> like what this ultimately, I feel this whole, this, this experience has taught me is, um, what it means to be a human being like prior to this i was living very much within a box of and i don't say this with the title in mind but physical limitation just you know kind of you go in you know this happens and then this happens and then this happens and this happens and what i actually see and this is, goes back to what claire was saying as well what i actually see about our nature as human beings is not what I thought it was. Like I see, um, like Claire said, she doesn't see herself as disabled. Whereas previously I would have seen that as a very black or white, you know, kind of binary kind of, you are disabled, you're not disabled kind of uh, choice or decision or label. And, and really that's not, that's not what humanity is. That's not what human beings are our spirit as you say is much more than that and that's ultimately what we are like our capability or our our abilities are all different you know i'm uh, it's it's a scale it's not this you are or you're not it's like we're all um we're all uh, on this scale of of physical capability or um there are other measures for, 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 for us, but, but again, the measurement is not possible. It's our spirit and our, our, our connection to it that is, that is really important. And when I talked about, you know, the fact that, it, 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 that we are spiritual beings with, the, the, the in, with a gift of thought to think possibility and have those manifest, which I, I, it gives me such solace. But what's also true is that I'm looking deeper because of what happened to George and me. In other words, we both had the stroke. <laughs> he had the physical stroke, but it affected me as, as, as much. And in a, in a different way. Yeah. And... The thing is, there was, there's such a 
intimacy and, a, and such a deeper way of appreciating each other that happened as a result of that stroke. There's an intimacy between us and a deeper way of, of, of understanding each other that is just so precious. And um, I am very, very grateful for that. So in life, you have a journey, right? And you never know what your journey is going to be. And there's a way of being in that journey that can be like gold. Even though the circumstances, people looking from the outside may not see that. And, and I feel that in the way you talk, Julian. It's like the, the feeling you have for your daughter and the relationship with, you have with your daughter is very rich, very precious in, from your eyes. From the outside, people looking on don't see that necessarily. And the same with Claire. Right. And she talks about her journey and the gift of her diagnoses, so to speak, or the gift of her limitations. People from the outside are seeing, oh, she's, you know, the devil or whatever. But from her perspective, from what she sees, it's made her life very rich. Yeah, it's definitely prompted me to look in directions that I don't think I would have looked in otherwise. I mean, I start, I mean, from 17 years old, I started a kind of spiritual quest to look deeper into the nature of life and, and life purpose. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful every day. It doesn't mean that I'm a saint and I, don't some, and I don't get pissed off by my limitations sometimes. I do, but I don't, um, I don't stay there very long. I don't yeah. stay there very long I'm, because I'm kind of, what's the point of staying there? Yeah. It would be that it doesn't make sense to me to stay there. It doesn't make sense. And I love what you were saying before about thought being creative, because, you know, if I, if I, you know, like when I talked about that insight when I was 11, I knew that I could, I would, I could have spent my whole life thinking of myself as a victim. Yeah. And the trajectory would have been very, very different. 